Good afternoon. Welcome back from the lunch break. Council, are we ready with uh, this afternoon's um, witness? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, we, we are ready to proceed. Uh, I didn't quite hear you because I was busy consulting, but I'd imagine that you're calling the uh, meeting to, to order. So uh, I'd yes, say we indeed. are ready to proceed. If you would want, I would do it again. <laughs> 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 but that's all right. Um, uh, if you're ready with the witness, Please, um, uh, get him in. Oh, yes, Mr. Chair, we are ready. And uh, Ms. Maria Masingate would lead this witness. Splendid. Thank, Thank you. you. Maria, over to you. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. Good afternoon, Commissioners, and good afternoon all. Good afternoon to you, Mr. Witness. Good afternoon, Ma. 
As you already know, my name is Maria Masingate. Yes, ma'am. And I will be questioning you on behalf of the commission today. Thank you. You have already been informed that you are adversely mentioned with respect to the unlawful execution of nine dead row inmates. Okay. You have decided to voluntarily participate in the TRRC proceedings. Yes, please. And during the course of our meetings with the investigators and myself, you were warned that as a result of you deciding to voluntarily participate yep. in the proceeding, you yep. are required to tell the entire truth. Failure to do so or give false information, mm -hmm. you will be liable for prosecution. Yes. You understand? Yep, yes. <laughs> Can you please draw the microphone closer to you so as to make it easy for you? Yes, please. Thank you very much. Can we start now? Yes, please. I also wish to inform you that you have every right to remain silent and not to incriminate, incriminate yourself as person that is adversely mentioned. Yes, please. However, you deciding to come forward and speak the entire truth, yes, you please. are waiving your right to self-incrimination. Yes, please. And you are required to tell the entire truth. Yes, Do you please. understand? Yes, please. Can you please tell us your names? My name is Lavin Sambu, born in Sinted Village, Fongi Jaron District, West Coast Region. Sorry, Mr. Sambu, you wait for my corrections. Okay, no problem. Then you respond to it. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So can we start? Yes, please. Can you please tell us your names? My name is Lavin Sambu. When and where were you born? Sinted Village, Fongi Jaron District. Can you please give us a brief background of your education from uh, primary? I attended St. John Bosco Primary School. Mr. Sambu, yes, please, please I'll require that you speak slowly. Okay, no problem. You're speaking really fast, and it's, it will be very difficult for the interpreters to get all that you're saying, and our speeches are overlapping. No problem. So you wait for three seconds before you respond to my question. No problem. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Can you please give us a brief background of your education from primary to secondary? I attended St. John Bosco Primary School, Sintet, and later on forwarded to become a technical senior secondary school. When did you graduate from Birkama Technical Senior Secondary School? 95. After later on, I was there, I, I went to, I had the Gambia police, police, police Force selection. Can I please speak in my language, Maninka, please? If you are most comfortable yes, with please. that, that would be very yeah, good. Yes, please, yeah. Okay, that's okay. Can we have the Maninka interpreter? Would you rather start with the questioning in Maninka, or can we proceed from yeah, let's here? Let's proceed. Yeah, we proceed. Okay. Now that you've chosen <coughs> to speak in the Maninka language, yes, please. You'll have to wait for the interpreter to interpret in Maninka, then you respond. You're welcome. Can you proceed from where you stopped? Okay. Can I go? Yes. You okay. said you graduated in 1995. Yes. Thereafter, what did you do? I joined the Gambia Police Force. I joined the Gambia Police Force. Mr. Sambu, remember you have opted to speak in Mandinka. Okay. So you have to wait for the interpreter to no interpret. Sir. No problem. And then you respond in Mandinka. No problem. Thank you. After graduating in 1995, what did you do? I joined the Gambia Police Force. I joined the Gambia Police Force. In what year did you join the Gambia Police Force? I joined the Gambia Police Force in 2004-2005. Mr. Sambu, 
Remember, you have to wait for the interpreter and then you respond. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Interpreter, can you please interpret? 2004-2005. In between that period, from 95 to 94, what did you do? 2004, sorry. Ako wuche wako no 2004-2005. Yemune kenu, janye dum police. Mantan mifena? I was not doing anything. I was home. Sorry, Mr. Interpreter, it's from 1995 to 2004. About 1995, kata 2004. I was not doing anything. I was home helping my dad. What then made you join the police in, 1990, in 2004? I was not doing anything. I was home helping my dad. What then made you join the I wanted to serve my nation. When you joined the police, how long did your training last? I joined the police in 2004, 2005. From 2004 to 2005? Four to five months training. Four to five months training. After the training, where were you posted? Biriela Karango Bank Police, Karango. Yes, Samba Minto, Le Purka Duko, Tamandi. Kanifin PIU. Kanifin PIU. Can you tell us what PIU means? Police Intervention Unit. What was your role at the PIU? I was in the Commission of the PIU. I was in the Commission of the PIU. I was there as a sentry man. I was there as a sentry man. I was there as a sentry man. For how long did you remain in your sentry man duty? You were at jail, like a katara wo sentry man yala. Wole mu kalo kakanta roke. You were at jail, like ye. Aman tambi isanje fulala. It's not more than two years. What happened? Muna keta inatam bondi ye. I was removed from there. Data fatoto. And transferred to fatoto. What of fatoto? I left fatoto. Data YBK. I went to YBK. When you were transferred to Fatoto, what was the nature of your work there? Three years on the Gita Fatoto. Elamu, Eladuko Katamunetin Munji. Pantaro. God. How about YBK? YBK, Lumbri Tata or Kamundu Kuleki. Many Kantaro. I was also on guard duties. Can you tell us what the YBK stands for? Afanya YBK fango kuto muneti. Yoro bera wulem kunda. Yoro bera wulem kunda. Yoro beri kunda. Kesni amakari. Yebem. Kwa. Sorry, can you repeat it so that the interpreters will get it? Yoro bera wulem kunda. Yoro bera wulem kunda. Kesni amakari. Yoro bera wulem kunda. What did you do at this Yoro bera wulem kunda? I was there with my colleagues and we used to conduct our duties. Kata patrol la, kata sade kono suto la kadula li jibe. By keeping guard and going on patrol in the night. Can you give us the dates with which you were at these places? For how many people are lungul la le? Ibe ni dinkira lutu watu lumenu la for isi o watu lufonye. Ndari mama nola. I cannot remember. Thereafter, where were you posted? O kola ye samba minto le kote ke. Kumani ndara VIP protection training na. I was called and I went for VIP VIP protection training. How were you selected for this VIP protection training? Ye tombo nyadi le, puruke dundi wakarango kono mengeta keba kumbanding kantori. It was. Yemu selectioni just normal selectioni, 
I was selected, just the normal selection. How many of you went through this VIP protection training? I tell Mujer Letata who keba kanta karangula. Entumi kumali na benda kani pi piyu a platu mosile. Those of, what, those of us that were called and converged at the Kanifin PIU, we, are, we were up to a platoon. There will be about 30 something, right? Yeah. Yes. And where was this VIP training? If I did not forget, it was in Kanifin. Can you tell us what this VIP training entailed? Afonye nying VIP karang wole mkakeweka alfa lukanda akarang mungu kufazo nule kakeje. Nying is just akada kumingo e kalunda kuma nying ka protect. It's all about protecting important personalities. When was this VIP training? Nying karang dulo akata wati jumale. I cannot recall, remember the date. Was there an incident that prompted this VIP training? For Kule Ketabang, Maya Sabu, in a Tedundin, Karandilokon, or Purka Alfalkanda. Ah, would more AU can ask that AU summit? Yes, at the time, the AU summit was about to be hosted here. For how long did you attend this VIP training? A learning karang VIP training. I will change it later. Ni mo ni na man tami lo kung fula ko lo kung sabala. If I don't forget, it's not more than two to three weeks. Where were you posted after this VIP training? During wo karang o kita banta ye sambalu ko la mintole. Nada tu kanifin PIU. I stayed at the kanifin PIU. You mentioned that the AU summit was about to take place in the Gambia, and yeah. that was why you were trained. Yeah. Did you participate in safeguarding the VIPs at that time? Did you participate in Airport auto yes, for almost two weeks. We were the ones at the airport for almost two weeks. After that two weeks, where were you posted? I returned back to the Kanifin PIU. Did you remain at the Kanifin PIU? Silang Enata Tutula Kanifin PIU Levang. Another to Kanifin PIU? Yes, I remained at the Kanifin PIU. Were you posted at any other place after that? Yes, I was posted at the Kanifin PIU. Yes. Can you please tell us about it? I went to become an oldie at the IGP's office. I went to become an oldie at the IGP's office. Who was the IGP at that time? The Malam IGP to Otumo. I Musambu for some time. I first served Musambu for some time. And how did you remain an oddly at the IGP's place? Saying for another two in Yadi Leo, I oddly ala IGP la Dinkrado. Meninje for Nya for Sanji Dantang, Yambondi, Cabriato Bondi, Yambondi. I was there for some, for some years, and when he was being removed, I was also removed. When you were removed, where were you taking next? I returned back to the Kanifin PIU. Did you return back to the PIU? Yes, I returned back to the Kanifin PIU. Did they give you another assignment? For Benjamin again. So I returned back to the office of the IGP when Benjamin came to serve him also as an orderly. Can you tell us what year that was? For a hakilo sibula o finance ngono la leba o sangu akere sangu me. Actually, I don't remember it right now. I cannot remember it now. What services did you render then? 
Otembo, yemundo ku fason nuleke, eka mundo ku fason nuleke. Ala office do ku kaya, aning ka protect, ka bosu wakona kata office do, ka ka bundi office do ka sambo su wakona. I do some of his office uh, work for him, and also to protect him from his house to the office and from the office back to his house. For how long did you maintain the job of being an orderly? Ye wuche jelle ke wudo ko la kake orderly te. Mete la kabim bodije, kabim musambu bodije, kabim benjamin bodije. Nada continue ni Jesus kera ni Jesus fana saf. It's for a long time because when Ben was taken out, I continued with Jesus to serve him. Did your job description eventually change? Ina lo ko la nya fo nya tonto anata falin ne ban a kabriye jesus bonni odli alam seta bak to kan vim piayu so when they remove uh, jesus i was uh, taken back to the kan kan vim piayu can you please tell us the full name of this jesus you're referring to e ka jesus mem fo ten ato fo ngo fo nya ban ensabaji ensabaji When you were returned back at the PIU, did your job description change as an orderly? Saying bri muruta kota ke kata PIU ila orderly ya ado ko nyum fa falin daliba. Ah nata falin? Yes, it changed. Can you please tell us about it? O keta nyame nga wo fonye bang. Nyata wati danto soto kanifing. Later after some time in kanifing. Ah bi ye yemol ku mandi ku mili VIP protection ke. I was there. Then they called uh, us, those of us that had some VIP training. In that commandy world, that was where I was called. The Baji commandy, Lamin Baji. Lamin Baji too was called. And Momodo Aibuso from the commandy. And Momodo Aibuso was also called. The then commissioner from the PIU. Our then commissioner at the PIU. Birambai. Birambai. Akumule idangu interior minister la. He said that we should report to the interior minister. Answer to him. For the minister office. We got to the minister's office. I will brief that coming by transfer to the state house. He briefed us that we were to be transferred to the state house. I will refer police headquarters. He referred us to the police headquarters. Coming from the police headquarters. When we got to the police headquarters, who was the interior minister at that time? This man Songo. Ujumalam, Ujumalam, interior minister to Otumo. This man Songo. This man Songo. At the time he informed you that you are to be transferred to the state house, did he inform you what you are supposed to do there? What woman acquired a base in state house? Fire fuel bank. If it had look for some men in state house. Ani amafonya because utumo. No, he did not tell us because at that time. Mulka transfer to the state house. People used to be transferred to the state house. You mentioned that. 32 more than 32 people participated in the VIP course. Then you for comments yara motanza banim fulati wolle tata nyin alfa kanta karangoke. And only 3 of you were chosen to be transferred to the state house. And in ata tel mo sabada man ne ta pour kali sound kata state house. Do you know why the 3 of you were selected to be transferred to the state house? Foya adalilo lon ne munan na ya tel mo sabada man tombo pour kali samba state house. Ani ma dalilo lon. No, I don't know the reason. Can you recall the year this happened? Foi hakilo si bula sangom meng ying keta foi so sangolon nolo. Nima ni na twenty ten or twenty twelve. If I don't forget, it's either twenty ten or twenty twelve. As at this time, how long have you served as a? Police officer or parliamentary officer. Obe kila watu meng. Ite la mirror road. Wajatara yes sangu jeli do komu meo kebri dunta police do kodo. Amen ngo six years sub jeli. I think I had served six years. Or seven years you. Or seven years. What was your rank at that time? Watembo mum makama lebe bulu ila rank momenti. Sergeant ole momenti udumu. I was a sergeant at the time. So you were asked to report to the police headquarters. Can you tell us what happened when you got there? Ko yete dangum police ko rabato. Brifu na taji mune na taka. Na taka police headquarters personnel. We went to the police headquarters personnel. 
I molla kairul to borode na file ul kasa mbasti raus. And they prepared our files to take them to the state house. As at this point, were you transferred to were you supposed to be transferred to state house as police officers, or were you transferred to state house as part to be to be joined? as a military officers be a sound la tumo men na kata state house yali sound je nyin kawla kan kalbe tula police yalla bang fodum yali sound je nyin kawla kan kalbe bola police yatole ali edun do ku do to en samba pour nga so jarole ti they took us there so that we could become soldiers in between the time when you reported to the police headquarters and you were told that you will be transferred to the state house how long did it take for you to actually be transferred to the state house we wato me nyin sawondiro kuma foyi anin wato men inate sawondi ya mera we wati jellata am bi jele because kabin report je menul menul ground ko dugo ground to sentries up and down up and down for nya later when we reported we were on the ground performing sentry duties until later you had received training as a police officer as at the time when you were told that you be transferred to the military did you receive any training ye karango kele de police ya do ko biri be dun na police bar silam biri na tani saundiro fo koy bita e be ali dundila sojari ato fo ina tal karandi kula lo sojari ala karo la bang ankai yes Did I I was selected for support weapon course uh, on my own I was selected uh, for support weapon course It was the three of you that were selected to join the military right Yeah Yeah tell me so bole tumbo prale ta ka soja role ma Yes You're telling us that out of the three you alone were selected to be trained on the support weapon course atel nyum mo sabo ko ya tele tombon kata so jari ala bari nate te dam man neta pour eh ke le jorang kunyalu ite dam man neta karango ke bang ha yes where did you receive this train yo karango ke min tole was nya jong konte inde dama la select nyum mol ko no baji baji ben military police le military police ya attack military police if you see why i told you that i was the only one selected for this course because baji was with, with, with the military police buso ben on driving side and buso was on the driving side ndel ba on the ground i was the one on the ground can you tell us what you mean exactly by you were the one on the ground niko etele be je on the ground wolam nyenti etele be du ma je wo koto mo muneti comme une telle bac une telle bac infanterie une telle bac ground auto mais quand vous êtes up and down centres kata kana kata kana kabi bas selection ok kang comme moi select from the state personnel nara loki interi il mol konoje ou tu vois la mise en was the then commander that by that I meant that I was at, like performing the role of an infantry doing the normal sentry guard and at that time la mise en was the commander as at This time who were you reporting directly to? Ako tembo itekate ike danku jumale la ila ke balu ko. La min sane wolen commander ti. La min sane was the commander. Can you tell us about this support weapon training you went through? Eh itata nyin kele joran karango men na teng. Eh fem fo nyen woto bang. Ah nyin kele joran wolen nyin kiribalti ni sophisticated weapons. Atata karango Ah ke kan ilay lafon ni je former general Tamba these are these big guns uh, the sophisticated weapons and we did this course in Kanelai under general Tamba as at that time what position did general Tamba have wotembo general Tamba be palace jumal tu abenu state house le he was at the state house Which general Tamba are you referring to? Which general Tamba Jumala ma? Asmana Tamba. Asmana Tamba. Were you the only 
personnel that received this support weapon training. It was many people. Can you recall some of the people that you trained with? For a kilo sibula mulu lale ini men yo kele joran kraw ke nyola. I cannot remember. I don't remember no say. I cannot remember now. Or can you recall what outfit those people came from whether they were from the state state guards or other units? For a kilo sibula le bang wo mulu ini men ye kraw ke nyola. I bota bunda jumale la sojare la karole bota state guards le for i bota bunda jumale to. O be bota state house le. All of them came from the state house. As at this time, you've told us that Busso was with the drivers mm -hmm. and Baji was with the military police. Yes. When you were co-opted into the state guards, were you given an option of where you will be or were you just put in those places? Yenye mfoko, buso wabe moto borindila la karole la. Baji, eh, watarta military police. Saying, itafana mbribe dundila. Ye, nye mfoye ne proke, nye nika itebe lafe la tarla, fana jumale la, foye ita atala lure kwe ite kijam. Signal message le nari, abondi part one order, mo, eh, ngaje wolto. A signal message, message came from part one orders, and that was where I saw it. Apart from the support weapons training, did you receive any other training? Wo kile jorang njau lo karango kola. Fo ina ta kudo fana karan neba meni wo kile jorang lo karango tekele. Ha, wole wo tini ante wanti ngo kos fana ge steroids le roughly one week to two weeks. Yes, it's also this the course of the T91 which we did at the state house, which ran from between one and two weeks. Can you tell us what the T91 was? Afanya muno T91 ya kuromu muno. T91 kido lem. It is a gun. Kido la yin kidi kanya ndongo lenteng. Just for centuries. Sizable gun used for centuries. How long did you do that training? Yo karamu ke wuche jeli. Manta mi lokum fulala. It was not more than two weeks. Can you recall what year it was at this point? For how many people were there? I can't remember. In 2011, 2012. If I did not forget, it's between 2011 and 2012. You've already told us that you did the support weapon training, and you've also done the T91 training. Did you do a subsequent training? Did you find your call? Ye kile joran karango ke, aningfanang inata ning karan lava mumengketeng. Fo ye karan do fanang kile bang menungol te kilindi. Hadi? Yes. Can you please tell us about it? Fem fanyo ila o karan fasong fanang tu bang. Yembondi ye ntara VIP protection ola in Kanilai. They took us. They took me away there from there and transferred me to Kanilai for bodyguard protection. For this other course, were you the only one that was chosen among the people you, you went with? Were you the only one that was chosen for this VIP course? In VIP Alpha Karamu, yeah, we are almost about it. Ata for yet another man from Antaka, I don't do Karamu la silo la bang for any dollem. Hani, the big year, Lamin Baji big year, Buso big year. No, I was there. Lamin Baji was there, and Buso was also there. When did this training occur? Nying karango akita sanjumalo. I'm around 2013, mavong. I think it's around 2013. Can you please tell us what this VIP training, as you call it, entailed? Malo mfesa fono nying nying alpha kanta karango. A do ku fango mungu fasonne mungu ne baako no. Okay, udumu la misa ne la mulki kani la for this VIP protection. 
At that time, it was Lamin Sane that sent us to Kanilai for this VIP protection. In American all? With the Americans. I'm be here two weeks. I think we were there for two weeks. Ah. It was about how to take the president out and to bring him in. And also, where there was a crowd, how to protect the president from the crowd. How many people participated in this training? I think it's up to a platoon. During the course of this training, did you have cause to go for any mission? Yes. Can you please tell us about it? While we were on training, Rambo came and called us. Akumoleko mission or Banyun. And he said to us, there was a mission in Banjul that we should prepare a little bit later, we should come and join him in the vehicle. At this point, apart from your colleagues that were co-opted into the state guards, who else, who else participated in this training? Can you recall some of the names of the people that participated in the training? If I don't forget, our senior course instructor was Major Jaju. What was the first name? Ato Folodum. I don't know his first name. Does the name... Major Momodi Jaju sound familiar? Furu Major Momodi Jaju to is Hakilo Sibula. Nimanya Babkar and Babkar Jaja headquarters. If I don't forget, it's Babkar Jaju, he's at the headquarters. We have another name apart from Major Babkar Jaju. Was he called by any nickname? For Todo Balaleka, Commandi Tom and Menu Major Babkar Jaju to Nimanya Steven. If I don't forget, it's Steven. Is this person different from the Rambo you referred to? For Ninning Rambo Mayafo, for Ifatalebang, Fata Mokilolo. Amanga Ramboti. It's not Rambo. Can you please give me some of the names of the people that participated in this training? Molum Menu Mabeta or Karangoto, Koyte Mabeta Yaming, Face Yulu Tolu for Nibang. Sami Rimamon Valente. Those that I can remember are myself. I can remember Busso. I can remember Busso. Major Rambo Jaju. Major Rambo Jaju. Suleiman Sambu. Suleiman Sambu. Fansunyabali. Fansunyabali. Ah, maybe I, that's, that's, I can so remember not follow. These are the only ones I can remember for now. How about Amadou Baji? If I did not forget, he was also there. Pa Usman Sane was he there? Pa Usman Sane, Fafanam Bijeleban. If I do not forget, he too was there. How about Malik Manga? Malik Manga. Malik Ma remember? I cannot remember Malik Manga. How about Michael Correa? Michael Correa. Ma remember no? I cannot remember him. Michael Jata. Michael Jata. No, I remember no. I can't remember. What of Omar Oya Jalo? Fudung Omar Oya Jalo fanang ya kulang la kuto. Amandro course kono. He was not. He didn't take part in that course. These people that you named earlier, Sleiman Sambu, Mfansu Nyabali, and Major Rambo Jaju. Were they part of the state guards? Many more men follow to for things. Lemon Sambo, Rambo, and in a yellow millimeter of full van albe state guards like on the bank. The state house, they were at the state house. Did they have a particular name they were called by? For your two dollars to a commanding men about to move. Rambo, Rambo, too long. 
Rambo, uh, no. I, only, I only knew Rambo's name. I'm sorry, let me rephrase the question. As a group, did they have a particular name they were referred to? Uh, no, they didn't have a name. Yes, I hear they were called the patrol team. Was there any other name apart from the patrol team? Patrol team to call a photo of an undoti je by ke kumandi menna. I hear others also call them junglers. You've mentioned that you were asked to join the state guards, right? Yes. Lamin Baji testified before the commission. Lamin Baji said that the commission was not going to be he told the commission that you, uh -huh. Uso and himself, yeah, were asked to join the patrol team. What do you have to say about that? That is the truth. So in fact, you were not asked to join the state guards per se. You were asked to join the patrol team. Amunta imafu enka foko yeta kafu state guards ma bari yenye fuko foko yeta dung patrol team kafu moluma. Funding our explainers, I understand. Let me explain so you could understand. You can do that. Oh, for okay. Kavirin transferred on state guard. When we were transferred to the state guard, that general baji direct. We went direct to general baji. General Baji, coming meet at Glass House. When we met, when we meet General Baji at the Glass House, more than that, I will for Molly. He said a few things. I mean, for Molly, what he said to What he said to us was this. Uh, right now, President Al Al Samman put a letter to the patrol team. But right now, it was the president that brought us to be members of the patrol team. Ah, uh, but I tell him you wrote. But in his own mind, I tell the ground order follow. I tell the state. State Guard personnel who need to go to follow. We should be on the ground and mingle within the State Guards with the State Guard personnel. Because sign the new combo join the patrol team, okay? Because right now, if we said that we are we, we are going to join the patrol team, what did he say? Two bottles are in Baba Kela. Because at that time, their name was already solid. So we must like only report to the commander, then commander Lamin Sane. That was at the time that he said that we should report to the then commander Lamin Sane. You said General Baji told you that the patrol team's name was spoiled at that time. Because General Baji in a Franco patrol team tour, I talk we had a back of tempo. What did you understand by what he meant by the patrol team's name was spoiled at that time? Nako patrol team to Kuyata Levo to Mo. I tell a mirror road or Koto Mumuniti. I will at low understand Cabrera Okumofo. Well, he is the one that uh, understands the, that statement. After your meeting with General Baji, General Baji la bengo botala. Did you get to meet with the patrol team? For inning patrol team kafu mulu nata nyoje la bang. Hadi? Yes. Buso yangu mandi. Buso called me. Anata fanya kumi kwa nyenda nua mitla at Kololi. He said to me that we had to meet nua in Kololi. Mfanya Baji call Lamin Baji call. So I also called Lamin Baji. I said to him, they, they said that we should come so that we could go and answer to Banua in Kololi. Who was Banua at this point? And can you please give us his full name and his position? Jumalem Banua at your tembo, a tomu me obe funying, a ning abe palas jumal totum. At lem patrol, patrol team local commander. He was the patrol team commander. Major Noah Baji. Major Noah Baji. Can you please tell us what happened when you went to meet him? Brisa da purkaji. Afanya muna ketabang. Kabin furata restaurant yinto. When we got to the restaurant, nganwa nganwa nganyininka. We asked Noah. Afindira nambanda. We asked for Noah and he came outside. Utuma kafi madulwa si inkonoto. At that time, there were some of his colleagues seated inside. But would more be prepared, dressed fully. But at that time, they were all fully dressed. We found them there. Noa finished the banda. Noa came outside. Restaurant no bundato. At the entrance to the restaurant. At the amount of tolmosa boye. He spoke 
to the three of us. Can you tell them all that? You have to join the patrol team. That we are supposed to join the patrol team. But he also told us that we will not be joining the patrol team directly. He may use us as intelligent officers. But we are going to be used as intelligence officers. Sati kono? Inside the the the, the town. Ni president batambikan. When the president is uh, passing by. Convoyo. Through with this convoy. Mata siloko nga siloko njibe. We should go along the highway and observe the highway. Yeah. And what were you supposed to do around the highway? Did he tell you what you're supposed to do? Ako alinyanta mule kila nungo sila ba kang fire fire na alinyanta mene kila jero. That we should be observing the highway for the safety of the VIP to pass. For the safety of the VIP to pass. You would recall that when we met, you had told me that Major Nua had asked you to serve as spies for him and report whatever was happening around. Is that correct? That is the truth. At that point, did you know the walk that the patrol team was involved in? At that time, yes, I knew they used to go on border patrols. Mrs. Ambo, you had already served for six years as a security officer. Mr. Sambo, yes, and you were a for a And mind you, when you reported to General Saul Baji, he had told you that the patrol team's name was Point. It was already 2013 at this point. And there were several rumors as to the work of the patrol team, also known as junglers. And rumors that even some civilians were aware of. So at the time you were asked to join the patrol team, please do answer truthfully. Do you know the kind of work the patrol team was involved in? Do you know the kind of work the patrol team was involved in? What I can say about the patrol team at the time is that they used to go on border patrols. They used to uh, form convoys, go and come back. I also hear that they conducted arrests and other things, but I have never seen that myself. What were the other things that you heard they were accused of? I hear that they kill people, but I have never seen that. And at the time you reported to General Sol Baji, he told you that their names were spoiled. And you already have had rumors regarding the patrol team. What did you make out of the group that you were asked to join? Abrin tata nganua tara nung kololi anita fomole ko by the by use la kumi intelligence officers. When we went and met Noah in kololi, he told us that we were going to be used. Abrin nala abrin nala discussion no banta. But when the our discussions concluded, nara itani buso yuko. I came to tell buso that. Ngai ko yala mi nebe kering. I said to him, do you know what is happening? Ngai ko nyulu ikanjo jelo kumi ngovia ndrama police oleti. 
people they see us they look at us as if we are police officers and secondly perhaps they think we are spying spying them I told him, you see, since they gave this, created a distance between us and them, this is what is good for us. I, I said it to him twice. This is good for us. Let's go home and sit down. As at this time, why did you think that was your peace? Because I hear that they used to arrest people. I hear that they also kill people, which I have not seen. So we were going to join them. So if they tell us to go as intelligence officers, I said to him then, this is what is the, the best for us. When you were a police officer, how much was your salary? I was a Is it when I was a constable? At the time before you were transferred to the patrol team. What you That time I was a sergeant. Was it your first time in the police force? I think it's about, it was about 3,000. Yes, it was about 3,000. As at the time you were moved to join the patrol team. How much were you paid? Same thing. Same thing. You were paid the same salary as that of a police officer. That's what you are telling us. With the exception of my allowance, which was adjusted a little bit. And how much was the adjustment? The police allowance was adjusted. You see, the police allowance is different from the military allowance. Their ranks are not the same. Was it substantially higher than that of the police allowance? Following what move was he about a police allowance on your table? Bang. At the police allowance on your table, yes, it's a little bit uh, uh, bigger than the allowance for the police. You told us that you were asked to work as an intelligence officer. Did you, did you carry out the work of an intelligence officer for the patrol team? Patrol team toyala. For dung inato kulo kibar doko le kijebang intelligence doko. Hadi? Yes. Can you tell us the nature of that work, please? Odo ko mun 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 neba kono eka o Kenya dile. What do Noah come all call like? I tell them all the president be the Kanilai. Sometimes Noah would call us to tell us that the president was going to Kanilai. Katara silokang. We were always on the highway. Sometimes Kabirin Somanda fu jana bat tambila. Sometimes since morning up till the time that he would pass. Sometimes takara fu dendim birichinga bo dendim birichinga ta fu almost how to call it almost farato. Sometimes I go to dendim birich and I move all the way to farato. Kaji before on normal things be silokang na fati ye. To observe if I could see anything abnormal, abnormal happening. Then I will return and either report that to Buso or to Noah. What will be those abnormal things that you will observe and report back to Noah? Just, uh, for instance, enemies on the highway. And who would you refer to as enemies here? Saingo tembo atelbe jumanyo le chodi la kuni lonja woluti. Pro minka na na president wala convoy was stop. Na ba tembe kwa oka convoy interrupt. Just like anyone who will come to try to stop the president's convoy or even to interrupt it. 
Remember during our meeting, you had mentioned that you were asked to listen to the conversations of people all around. And report to Major Noah if those conversations were said against the president. Am I correct? Yes. Did you in fact carry out this job? against the president this is what I am telling you. Just to be mindful, if you hear anything that is said against the president or something that will retard the progress of the country, you come back and report to Noah. That's what I'm asking right now. Did you make any reports of such nature to Major Noah? Honey. No. You were given a job to do. Yes. Did you make Yes. And you were also placed at strategic locations for those. Yes. And you did not go back to report on anything. Why? Because I have not heard, then I have seen. Okay, we'll move on. You had told us that while you were training, you were asked to go on a mission by Major Rambo. Major Rambo Nata for Ali Uli Alieta Doku Doke. Can you tell us about that? Oh, Doku Femfony and Waterbang. Macanilla. We were in Canilla. Major Nuana Dakumoli, Major Rambo Nakumoli, Mission of Banjun. Major Rambo came and said to us that there was a mission in Banjul. So that we should be prepared in the evening. We bought vehicles to go to Banjul. As at this point, did they tell you what the mission was about? From that time, we were not told what the mission was about. Did they tell you what to do to prepare for this mission? Yeah, for No. How many of you were told about this mission? What I can what I know. I was there. Buso was there. Lamin Baji was there. Lamin Baji was there. was there. was there. Major Rambo Bije. Major Rambo was there. Any others in the meeting? Have you remind me And others that I can now uh, recall now. Did they tell you where this mission was taking place? For ya, for alien, alibita odo ko kera dami. Bingo boja ko mission of Banjul. When we were living there, he said the mission was in Banjul. Can you tell us the year and the date? Of this mission. For I think it is twenty thirteen, but I cannot remember the date. How were you dressed for this mission? I went dressed in my civil clothes. How about the others that you were with? I can remember they also went in their civil clothes. Okay. 
Did you have any weapons with you in preparation of this mit for this mission? Folum, jorango luba le bulle bang albe pareka ngutu mo mena purkata odu kola. Ndio utu mo kiro tembulu. Personally, at the time, I did not have any weapon. As at the point you were moving from Kanilai towards Banjul, who were you in the same vehicle with? Watu mwen albe bola Kanilai kaya tilim Banjul la ininjuma nyole moto kono. Masule masambu la jipol kono. We were inside Suleiman Sambo's jeep. How many of you were in this jeep? If I don't forget, we are three. Can you please name the people that were in the jeep? I was there. 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 Ni Suleiman Sambo. And Suleiman Sambo. Please tell us about the journey. Al Tanya, Al Vishilo Kang, Al Lao Tanya Afon Yambal. Midakam Fom for the Brikama Mavon, Ja Oil Mavon. We went until Brikama around the Ja Oil. In Solo Bentaye. We met with Solo there. Defnan Solo Boyang. Defnan Colonel Solo Boyang. Defnan Colonel Solo Boyang. We stopped. He also stopped. Rambo Jira. Rambo alighted. And he solo body amkang. And he was speaking with Solo. Solo kaya nganale. Solo said to him, "I'm coming." So until ten ten ntarab banjul. So we proceeded to banjul. Ntarab phone for the Hamza Barracks. We went until we reached the Hamza Barracks. Mulori Hamza Barracks. We stood at the Hamza Hamza Barracks. They said that we were waiting for Oya Jallo. Oya finished on Banda. Then Oya came outside. I met him because of a telephone sort of area. It took a long time, some time, because of he lacked a telephone. So we were there. So we were there. Ngara Rambo motor kono. At the time, I was inside the vehicle. Ngara Rambo mo communication ola. I heard Rambo communicating. Akafo. And he was saying. Keba ko former president ko. The, the big man, the former president said that today the execution must, must take place. I hear him say that General Baji wanted to cancel it, but he insisted that the executions must be carried out that day. That was, at that moment, I came to know what was happening. What was the distance between you and Rambo when he was communicating on the phone. Rambo be o dia mo la tumu na telephone oto ite na temo keno member al tema isa phone o abe nyari la jamfara jwa larba. Nepo pick up o koma. I was behind in the pick up. Man tambi even three meters or four meters. It was not even more than three or four meters. Rambo mo communication ola. And I heard Rambo communicating. Remember, you told us that you rode in a jeep. Yes, but when we arrived there, we changed vehicles. Michael, Michael Jata le pick up And so Michael, we, we changed vehicles. And Michael le wobo rendi And join Michael's pickup because he was, the one, he was the one driving it. So I, so I sat behind while the, the vehicle was stationed. Mm -hmm. Do you know who Rambo was having that com communication with? Rambo That communication, I think, was with General Baji. At this point, in Tembo, were you, apart from the conversation you heard, were you later briefed about your mission? If I did not forget, Solo came there to uh, tell us that state mission that this was a state mission that the big man said the execution was to take place and these were the death row inmates 
cadeau lit. That the president gave those, those instructions. Did they tell you the preparations you are supposed to make for this particular mission? For your falien, yanta parendro lumen nukela for alibita udo ko men na watu men ibedo ko ying Kenya for for kanali. Ani mumpen kala muda watu? No, I do not know anything on that. At this point, you've already told us that you were joined by Omar Oya Jallo. And you also mentioned several names. I will repeat and I'll ask if the, those people were present during this briefing. Buso, was he present? Yes. Lamin Baji, was he present? Lamin Baji. Yes. Nyabali, was he present? Yes. Suleiman Sambu, was he present? Suleiman Sambu, yes. You were also present? Yes. With Omar Oya Jalo. Omar was there later. He came. Omar Oya Jalo. Did anyone else join you that I've not named? Akofo, Modona Takafuale Malibang, Mamento. Adona Takafule Barante Mondolje? Yes, others joined us, but I did not see them. At this point, you already know what you were supposed to do. In Tembeng, we are actually Aliya Long Alijanta Menkela. Correct. Hadi? Yes. Did. Did they give you any weapons or anything in preparation for what you were supposed to do? Yo, what am bolum? For a Joran Dial Laban Walla is a Fendial La Purkali Parendi Alibita do Komen Alibakela Joran Omen for your Dial Laba. A monkey dinner, Suleiman Sambul and Adanang, I assume you dinner. They did not give, give me any gun. It was uh, Suleiman Sambu who came and gave me uh, a, 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 a hat a covering heart. my whole head and face. How did you feel knowing that you are supposed to execute people? Because that's what you were told at this point. How did you feel? Ako, why are you in ya fali yonko? Alkata mufala. Say, ite fongo na ata uta nyadile, yaje nyadile. That day, it's only God knows the way I was feeling. Because I was shocked at that spot. I went up to the inside of mile two, but I did not alight from the vehicle. Your journey to mile two. Allah tamu kata Allah silo kata mile two. Can you tell us how many vehicles there were? Afanya motoje lebe nyono makata mile two otumo. There were many vehicles. I cannot say how many they were. All the personnel that you have mentioned, did they go with you to mile two? Yes, I went with my wife and I went to mile two. Did you know what was going on with your baby? If I do not forget, everyone was there. You mentioned that you were in Michael Correa's truck. Michael Jata. Michael Jata, sorry. Michael Jata struck. Pickup. Pickup. How many of you were in the pickup? Michael Jata Michael Jata was there. 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 I was there. Buso was there. Buso was there. Who was driving the car? Michael Jata. Michael Jata. So tell us what happened when you arrived at mile two. When we got to mile two, we found many people because it was at night. But I could recognize the interior minister, Usman Sonko, and the director of prisons, and many other people whom I could not recognize because of the darkness. Because I was far away from them. I was seated in the pickup. The pickup itself. Did it have 
tinted glasses or were their glasses bare? Moto nyinna werolu wo wer fimulu be moto men na lomba mfodun ala werolu be senyarin. Moto yoro be be findinna with tinted glasses. You said you were seated behind. What do you mean by behind? Was it in the passenger seat or akoni ko be sirin koma. Ibe sirin passe a sidula to koma ba mfodun ibe keso le kono koma. I was seated inside in the passenger seat. When you arrived at mile two, you've already told us that you saw the Minister of Interior and several other persons whom you can't recall. Can you tell us what happened? Bundato I saw many people by the gate of the, 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 the main wing. And they were bringing out the prisoners one at a time. I told Bebulu. And they were having papers. Prisoners ke escort na ke banda. The prisoners were escorting them outside. Ye bulul handcuff. Their hands were cuffed. Ye be Their feet were shackled. During, sorry, let me take you back a bit. During the course of your briefing in which they tell you you're going to execute Inmates. Did they show you any legal paper? To, to state that these people are to be executed. authorities they did not show us any papers, but the authorities that were there, those are the ones that can say whether they had any paper or not. We have received information from some witnesses that the Minister of Justice was present there. I heard that, but I did not see him. Can you tell us about when the prisoners were brought out? When they were brought outside, they were boarded on some vehicles. Some came to our vehicle. Those ones were escorted by Mfansu Nyabali. Mfansu Nyabali la dundi tukon nte jita. I uh, alighted. Uh, Inmate dundi moto kono. They put in the inmate. Nsita abala. I sat behind the inmate. Buso sita wa side ola. And Buso sat on the other side of the inmate. At this point when you were asked to go on a mission to execute inmates. Nintembeng. Did you have any prior training on the execution of inmates? I have never heard it. I have never seen it. I have never done it. Were you informed as to how these inmates are supposed to be executed. Because Those in authority, they knew because I know that this was already planned. Were you informed, in fact, as to how they are supposed to be executed. Honey. No. You mentioned that Nyabali brought the inmate to your vehicle. Yes. At this point, you said you did not get down from your vehicle. But when the inmate came, I came out, came out of the vehicle, the inmate entered, and then I sat next to the inmate. Where was Buso 
this point. Buso was sitting on the other side. Buso was seated at the other side. Apart from you, Buso, and Michael, did you have any other person in that vehicle? Detaining Buso, Kola, and him, Michael, Fomo, Dobe, or Motoko, and Leba. Nyabala was sitting in Yato. Nyabala was seated in front. Why did you have to put the inmate in the middle? That was for the inmate security, so that he, the inmate does not fall off from, uh, through the door. Sorry, can you please uh, clarify that? In middle, certain no temple, pray comfort. A will be also comfortable because it has canola bunda bala woman safe. The inmate inmate can be put in the middle so that those that are protecting the inmate are comfortable. You cannot put the inmate close to the door. Can you please describe the condition in which the inmates were in when? or the one that entered your car, the condition that, is it a he or she, please, that the person was brought to your car? Please describe the condition that the person was brought to your car. At that time, it was dark. You wouldn't be able to tell whether it was a, a, a male or female. But the person's hands were cuffed and their feet were shackled. You said the person's hands were cuffed. And the feet were shackled as well. And you did state that the purpose of putting him in the middle is to ensure that he does not run. At this point, how is a person who whose hands and feet are bound, how would that person escape even if the person is seated close to the door? Ako watembo, mome mbulolu be handcovering a singulu fanalu be chenring. Saying mo sia fono le nyadi le pru be kanala le hania sindi bunda bala. And you wouldn't the best way of security. No, that is the best way of security. So your role, in essence, with Buso, was to ensure that he remains in that position. Flanked by both of you. Hadi. Yes. And restrained in a way. And wale mnyenti alia a bali kanala alia bulati yama pura kana ke nyam nyandi nyam. Hadi. Yes. Tell us about your journey from the mile two prisons. Silambirali wulta mile two kasola alitato wo allow tato of Kenya fanya bang. Kabiri mbota mile two. When we departed mile two. Ara range yoto. On our way to the range, for the airport or the junction, auto. When we got to the airport junction, now, at this stage, Kansul Konyintembeng, you already had a job to do. Do ko be bulle alinyintembeng. And your job, Allah do ko dum, was to ensure that. Kajeko, this person was there. Nimari membali bulu pro aefa. Hadi. Please tell us about your journey. You were saying something about while you were going. While on our way to the range, we got to the airport junction. After 100 meters, after 100 meters, motor be loader. All of the vehicles stopped. Into front of the motor loader, all vehicles also stopped. Why did the vehicles have to stop? I saw that all of the vehicles were, 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 were stopped. 
When the vehicles stopped, when Nyabali just walked and she ran behind Nyato, I saw Nyabali got up from the seat, the front seat. I turned to the inmate on Yinkang. He turned towards the inmate. He mushota kango diki. He took a plastic bag and strangled him again and put it over the inmate's head and strangled it. Turned to the double on the right side. At that time, I was by the right side. Buso was ten months old. And Buso was this, on this side. So I'm going to push and pull so that because we don't have blood covering coma. So the inmate couldn't push and pull because the inmate's hands were cuffed. Singular for the baby was sitting. And the inmate's legs too were shackled. At the point when you were driving, what was the baby motor going to do? The inmate was in the middle. Kasolang ko yung bete male. You could tell whether the inmate was male and female, even if it were at night. Can you tell us if the inmate was male or female? As because The inmate could have been a male or female because at that moment I was traumatized. Can you tell us why you were traumatized? Mind you, at this point, the inmate was seated in the middle and nothing has happened so far. You were going on this journey. The concept I heard was this, that we are on our way to kill an, uh, a human being. So already... Your state of mind was that you were going to kill a human being. Mm -hmm. Yes. You said you were in Nyabali struck, right? Sorry, Michael. Michael This truck was it a big one or a sizable one, small, normal truck? Pickup can you handle them? A sizable pickup. Is it a three-passenger pickup? Pickup le men ka mosaba samba mosaba samba. At the back, that is. Hadi. Koma koma sira umoje le kasiye. Hadi, wole. Yes, that is it. At this point, you were closer. You and Buso were closer to the inmate than Nyabali, right? Yeah. Otembo atel le katara kasola ngo njina iteni Buso katambi Nyabali la wairi obenyato. You also told us that Nyabali was seated in front. Yes. And like every other car, the front seat of the car was already there. How big was Nyabali? Nyabali dung a mo nyadi lenga a waratale mo ala ala waroka nyanta nyadi le. Atela fitan tadi. He's fitter than I am. Atela shambo shodan tadi. And he's more powerful than I am. Atela jumpa tadi. He's taller than I am. So, by Gambian standard, that is, you can consider him as a big person. Uba kuniata ko Gambia ng kolo la baloni iluoka kanya nyami mo sa muto ko mole men men keta mo 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 bati. Medium size le. The medium size. I see you as a medium-sized person. Uh, can you please stand up, please? By Gambian standard, I will call you a medium person. Or even a big person by my own standard. <laughs> I am medium, even my uniforms are medium size, but Nyabali is fitter. You may sit, please. Thank you. Fitter than I am. So Nyabali will obviously qualify as a big person. But Nyabali is a big person. In between. Okay, he's in between. Obviously bigger than you. Yeah, yeah but I'm not big. 
Well, you will have to excuse me, but I will consider you big. Okay. Then he's big. You said the convoy stopped. Did, was there any form of com communication after the convoy stopped? Let me understand. What I understood from it was after the lead vehicle stopped, all other vehicles that we are following, all of them stood. I'm looking at your statement right now. I had previously given you your statement to look over before you signed it. Do you have, and you had confirmed that this was your statement? I had also provided you with a copy of your statement. Can you look at the paragraph labeled five, number five? Kindly confirm that that is actually your statement. What is the truth? In your statement, I'm reading. Line eight, uh, seven, sorry, line seven of your statement. Can you please read line seven of your statement? Uh, please read line seven of your statement. After this mission, three of us, we are never called again for a mission. I can say we, we are totally... That is... Line seven. Yes. Yes. At first. That's page four. Page five. Page four, please. That's the paragraph label five. Number five. Okay. Did you see it? Lera na ninjango sapa. Lera woro borindi woro ulanjango. Page five. Olem lera lulu njango. Kaito kaiti lero. Page four. The paragraph label number five. Yeah. Okay. Under the heading execution of nine inmates. Yeah. One day, Major Rambo, judge call us. No. Wait. Now count seven from one day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. That's the seventh sentence. Now, can you read from we drive up? Or please start from two of the prisoners. Yeah. Okay. Upon arrival at mile two, you mean? No. Two of the prisoners. Did you see that? Uh, two of the prisoners were in the vehicle. Mm -hmm. I was in with Nyabali, Michael, Korea, and the driver, Busu. And I, we drive up to the traffic light at Yundung. Nyabali was communicating with someone. After a while, he took a plastic bag and wrapped it over the head of the inmate seated beside me and strangled him to death. Remember, you told us that only one inmate was in your vehicle. Two, in, two inmates, one beside me, one beside Busu. Two inmates were in the vehicle. But earlier, you did mention only one. It's two, it's two inmates. So you're inmates. saying it's two inmates? Yes. So you had one on your side on and Busu yeah. had the other on, their, on his side? Yes. And looking at this scenario here, yeah. what you explained about Nyabali, leaning forward and strangling one inmate. Which one did he strangle? Is it the one close to you or the one close to Busso? He strangled the one who's close to me I, at the airport, Johnson.
Now, imagine when an individual is being strangled. You were in this vehicle. Can you please tell us how the inmate reacted to being strangled? No, because in coma. At that time, the inmate could not uh, make a lot of movements because, because the inmate's hands were cuffed behind uh, the back and, and uh, the legs too were shackled. Nyabali turned na. Nyabali turned. A plastic bag on muda. He took a plastic bag. A press. He pressed it. Symbola. With force. And he turn. And turn it. Akangu akangu jelanda. And don't think it bent the thing. And snapped his neck. What were you doing while this was going on? Itebe munela nungu nimbebe keka mtu mome. Mbajibe kwa utu with that struggle. Mbajibe kwa after akonye kwa amuta. I was looking at him in that struggle, and then after he said to me. Hold the person. Abula. Nyabali Abula. And the Nyabali left. Atarak akong aboyten dakang. And the inmate fell on me. Kony Nyabali ka aboytale. And I said to Nyabali. Akony ka amute ka Abula minela. The inmate has fallen, and he said to me, "Get hold of the inmate. Why are you releasing releasing the inmate?" Nga amute na kote ke. I held the inmate again. Nga je jamu te nyinga isa afatale. And I saw that this one at this point is dead. Tukwa alendi ndabo ndabo kanya ndabo bola jam. On the left shoulder. I placed the inmate on my left shoulder. Because nimbo te je dun nga je laka boy. Because if I move, I see that the inmate falls. Sita bola. I sat close by. Remember, you told us that this at the back, the back seat was meant for three passengers. And you have four passengers at the back, which makes the place even tighter. Mm -hmm. And this yes. person is being strangled, sitting at close proximity with you. When did Nyabali ask you to hold this person? When he, the inmate was strangled to death, after, after he slapped the inmate's uh, uh, neck until you can hear the cracking sound, and when, the inmate, when he released the inmate, the inmate fell. I said to Nyabali, the inmate has fallen. And he said to me, get hold of the, 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 get hold of the. So I, I took hold of the inmate and, and seated him properly. But if I release, he, the inmate goes uh, head down. I came to hold the inmate at that time until we got to the range. Now, time. Let's just take it step by step. I'll read from your statement. We drove up to the traffic light at Yundum. Nyabali was communicating with someone. And after a while, he took a plastic bag a plastic bottle and wrapped it over the head of the inmate seated beside me. I am a nylon bottle bula, casual and bottle member Sirimbala. I am a candidate for your offer. Remember, Nyabali was seated in front. Nihakilo baka Nyabali be Sirim nunyatole. And the car seat must have blocked him in a way. And the motor Sirang ying abetarla nyatole nyado nyama. Nyabali being a huge guy or a big person for him to lean over and put a bag over the inmate's head in a moving vehicle would be nearly impossible without any help. You've been closer to this one. Can you please tell us what you did? When the inmate was being killed, the vehicle was not in motion. The vehicles were, were all standing at traffic light. At the Yundum traffic light. There's a space between the driver and the 
the front seat. You know, there is always a space between the driver and the front seat. Nyabali special world a tontana. That was where Nyabali had space to a turn. A strangle world. To strangulate this guy. To death. To death. From your statement, can you please show me where you mentioned that the convoy stopped or your vehicle stopped? Traffic light, you know. Look at the statement and show me where it stated that the vehicle stopped. The same paragraph I had referred you to, that is page four of paragraph five. Okay, we drive after the traffic light at Yundum. Nyabali was communicating with someone, and after the after a while, he took a plastic bag. By by this time, the vehicles, all the vehicles were stopped. Did you in fact put that in your statement? That was probably a mistake, but the day before yesterday, while we were discussing here, I didn't mention to you that the vehicles were all stopped. Because I told you that the vehicles were standing there for almost 20 to 30 minutes. At that time, Nyabali was speaking to someone else. After that long time, what can that range? It was after that that we left for the range. Mr. Sambo. Yes, please. This looks like an afterthought. Remember, you were given an opportunity to look through your statement and verify your statement. But there is nowhere in the statement it stated that the convoy stopped. And for that long, additionally, Remember, some witnesses have already testified with respect to this issue. And none of them have stated that the convoy stopped at any point. And this is for the 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 what traffic I, light. What I can tell you is and that... that point, even Kunu Kunga for in Kolo Union, more than 20 to 30 minutes. What I can tell you is this, that maybe those people have forgotten. The I, have, the I have shown to the Quran, and, and I will not tell lies. I told you, even day before yesterday, while we had a discussion, that the people stopped at the Yundum for almost 20 to 30 minutes. I have shown to the Quran, and I have shown to the Quran, and I have while I, was while I was reading my statement, you told me to do it quickly because there was no time. So I hurriedly glanced through it, and then you told me to sign, and I signed. But honestly, the vehicle stopped at Yundum. But prior to me even asking you to sign the statement, you had already provided this statement to the investigators. And you were given and you were given opportunity several opportunities by the investigators to go through your statement as well. So this particular fact it seemed as if you're introducing this fact in the story. When you, I met with you and here, I don't want to, I don't want to take much, much time. It's an oversight, and I told ah, you day before yesterday when we met that the vehicle stopped at Yundum. I will not sit here and tell lies. Now let's go back to the time the victim was being strangled. Did the victim just sit there and someone snuffed the life out of him or her because you've not stated whether the person was male or female? 
fo ni mari be siri ngele ten rong do ni nata aya fa fa la wonya without resisting fo musulem fo kelong satara amari mam balang yitan dia mam 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 denga mi lo mi benta bala what i know the one that was close to me fo musulem ba fa keta keta kelam i am unable to tell ni musulem ba fala musulem ni kelam ba fala kelam i am unable to tell whether the individual was male or female because if the person was male or female i would have said so the question is did the victim resist or did the victim just stay Sorry. there and then Sorry. was calm while he or she was being strangled because the individual did not resist but she was nothing for air inside the the plastic bag because the person's eyes and face were all covered Now at the time the plastic was being put over the victim's head. Did the victim just allow them to put the plastic to put the plastic over the head? Or did the victim resist while the plastic was being placed over the head? Any resistance did you? I did not see any resistance. Well, Mr. Sambo. Yes, please. That to me will not be normal. Ah, ndela jero te de wote keno la kuti menseke kuso kuteng ku ku ketati. Someone seen someone that is about to kill them and the person calmly allows it but you have to say about that but you have to say about that but you have to say about that the only person that can resist is, is the only person that is free but someone that had Uh, his or her hands cuffed and legs shackled. How could such a person resist? You've already told us <laughs> that there were four of you at the back. Yes. And the person that was killed was the one closest to you. Why are you avoiding stating that you had help in one way or the other while the plastic bag was being placed on the head and while the person was being strangled? I So I, did, I did not participate when his neck was when he was strangled and until his neck was snapped and he was released by Nyabali the inmate fell on me and that was when I said to him that the inmate has fallen and he always said to me get hold of them of him well Over. to me it's quite impossible for the victim to just sit there while the eyes were open somebody is about to place a plastic bag Mo over the head and, and the person calmly allows it the person is being strangled and the person sits there calmly without resistance Do you want us to believe that? When the person's hands were cuffed behind and the, the legs were also shackled, we were all sitting close to uh, the person because it was tight. Uh, the inmate uh, looked down put my already plastic over from back at that time the plastic bag was already over abin kanana kabim mal tuti ki plastic o dunda kongoto the plastic in fact was over the, the, the inmate's head from my no moto nyin kono we were inside the vehicle put my nyabal na strangled to death that was when nyabal strangled the inmate to death so you remember you told us that you knew already 
These people were going to be killed. Of course. And you already had that mindset that you were going to participate in it. Are they? Yes. And the plastic, what, wait, when did they put the plastic over their head? Was it when they entered the car or before? Ako ye plastico, Walemo, Nylon Boto, Ya Bulani Mari Kumula Tumo Jumale. Can ye Bula Motocono and Fue Bula Bulani Motocono, Utumo Plastico Babu, Aka Motor, Adundi Motocono, the Sitabola, Adundi Temba, Buso Sitabola. That was when they were brought into the vehicle, the plastic bags were already over the individual's head. Already you knew what the plastic bag was supposed to be for, and you knew how they were supposed to be killed. Hardy? Yes. I'll just leave it at that now. Okay. Let me just go back to this point. When the plastic bag was placed over the head properly, since it was already hung up there, and the victim was being strangled. Did the victim resist at all? I did not see any that's the only thing. So, I only saw the individual uh, struggling for breath. We have received floor. similar evidence of how another victim was killed in another car. And that was the car that Omar Oya Jalo and Ahmad Baju were in. And you said all the victims were restrained the same way. And you said testified that both him and Oya had to restrain the victim. Because the victim was fidgeting a lot. And mind you, the victim was restrained the same way as yours was in your vehicle. I can only talk about the things that I saw in the vehicle that I was in and not what happened in the other vehicles where I was not in. You just trying to extricate yourself from this particular incident. No, I was part of them. No, I, I am not trying to extricate myself from, from, from it. I was there. I was part of them. It happened in my presence. I was part of them. It is was, was after when this guy strangled, strangled the, the, the inmate until the person died. And then he said to me, hold the, the inmate, and I participated. So I was there all the time. In essence, you're trying to minimize your own participation in the manner in which this particular victim was killed. To God, I'm telling you what I know. Let's move on to... What happened after this victim was strangled? The convoy departed to the range. The convoy departed to the range. We got to the range. again. again. In Mimbabala. In Mimbabala. The inmate that was seated beside uh, Buso. That one also, the plastic bag that was over the, that inmate's head. 
Il a aussi la presse. Il a aussi la presse. Il a la presse. Il a Il a la 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 Because of the push and pull which he was trying to avoid, I strangled to death. He strangled him to death. Well, this time around, even with the tight space, there was push and pull. No, there is no push and pull. Because the place is so tied up. Push and pull, Mandraji. I did not say push and pull first. You said it and I repeated it, remember? I don't know push and pull for you. I don't know if you can Uh, because Kabria account did it. Yes, because when the inmate's neck was being strangled, Busho was a little bit far away from him. So was because That was when Nyabali said to Busho, do not be far away from the inmate because the press. way you are you are drawing away from the inmate, you may knock the door. This is a three passenger vehicle. Four. Back seat, three. Back seat was three. Only three people could sit, are authorized legally to sit yeah. at the back. Yeah. And uh, you guys were four. Yeah. Two victims. Yes. You on one side. Buso uh, was on the other side. Yes. An already tight room for poor, poor people. Yes. So how can Buso be far away from this particular victim when the victim is being strangled. What I observed from it was that he was not prepared to take responsibility. Sorry, I'm a bit confused here. Was Buso Or you not willing to take responsibility? Who was not willing to take responsibility at this point? first time for mom responsibility. I don't want to participate. Individually, in the beginning, I was I don't want to participate. prepared to take responsibility. I did not want to participate. Yeah. But you've told us that you did. Yes. In my mind, I was not prepared to participate, but I participated eventually. Well, you're contradicting yourself a bit here. There is one thing that goes on in your mind. And the reality itself. The place was quite tight. You participated on your own, own side. Yes. And Busso also assisted on his own side when it was happening. Yes. So you both assisted when these two victims were being strangled. Yes, that's true. Good. So tell us what happened when you got to the range. We stopped there. We saw other people. But it was uh, in the night. We saw them being put on the ground. They were there with their victims. They were strangling them to death. But I cannot say who they were. I could not recognize them because it was dark. But because of the people who were I could not recognize them because it was dark. I, the, I opened the door of the pickup. Sorry? I was sideways sideways inside the pickup. I was seated sideways inside the pickup. I did not uh, get down. Until the executions were done. After the executions were done. After later on. I saw General Baji coming. And he was in a civil dress. And other people who were in civilian clothes. And other people who were in civilian clothes. But I could not recognize them because of the darkness. And I did not also uh, climb out of the car. The only person that I could recognize at that time was General Baji. I saw another civilian. He had papers. He came and opened the door to the pickup. I climbed down. He touched the inmates. I confirm. To confirm if they were dead or not. I saw that uh, quickly 
Atata moto dol kono. He went into the other vehicles. Atata duma mil vije. He went down to those that were there. Ngo la kalamda adi range. That was what I could observe at the range. Can you tell us who this civilian was that was confirming to check whether the victims were dead? Ni civilian omen na ta purka juve funi molo fatale. Jumalem. Ama malo ma civilian olong. I do not know who the civilian was. Can you describe the person? Isa mari danya funi nyelebang. Suo kutele fanang utumo. It was dark that time. But akidam fe komi ke jang ke jang olem. But to me, he, he, he appears to be a tall person. After it was confirmed that all the victims were dead, was there any discussions among you? Uh, if I do not forget, uh, I think there was at the range. Or a victim or a body damaged? Are you asking at the range or where the victims were being buried? Ni mani langa for last minute kono solo solo was briefing men. If I don't forget, at the last minute, the solo was briefing the men. Ai tani mo lako to show people that mo kana demu let no one panic. Execution on ngindi. This is an execution. State execution on them. And it is a state execution. We have nothing to explain. And there, there was nothing that we could explain. We have nothing to say. We have nothing to say. I didn't know the bankola, bankola, I didn't know the kelale. And he also made it known to us that this was a state-sanctioned activity. Yes. What happened to the remains of the victims? Those of us who were in our vehicle, in our vehicle, in our vehicle, in our vehicle. They came and boarded the vehicle. Each one of us would take uh, your corpses and put them in your vehicle. Solo bojang lead. Solo bojang led. Mulbulata noma. And we followed him. Ndo mina kwa silo kona. Mina kwa silo kwa. As we were coming along the way. Before you move further. Can you return to the yard? Lamin Sambut. Lamin Baji testified. Lamin Baji said they are okay. That. Solo Bojang after the execution. Solo Bojang, bring your faro keta faka pare. Was going round the bodies. Abe murumurum kaka ofre oloji be. And it seemed her as if he was chanting incantations. Amunta watumo abe kulle kekang kaka fenu kama amunta abe karam mulungolela. What do you know about that? Fwe fenlo oteleba. Asakeno baranda makalamuda. It could have been, but I was not aware. Can you move on to when? You were being led by Solo with the bodies. Saying ten ten, Solo eko al tambita al bulata noma utunga al ningfure ulunyele bitaka. Utumwa bitaka. It was after twelve to one suru. As we were, the time we were going, it was between twelve and one. Solo komol dundi nyamo kona komol finta ni nyamo koko komol dundi. Solo was taking us inside the bushes and outside of the bushes, inside and outside of the bushes. The phone tap phone lo ni bushma munto ma phone it. I cannot even tell. Myself, where these bushes are. Atata load ladoto. He went and stopped at a particular place. Amani ke ba dolo di amuka. And he was speaking with one old man. Man na oke ba rungi yoko teke. I did not come to see that old man again. Solo tata lo ni amoko no. Solo went and stood inside the grasses. Funya to do money. For a while. Aku e furele jindi na. And then he said that they should bring down the corpses. E furele jindi na. The corpses were brought down. Inta pong inta inta jindi na nim buso. I, myself and Buso, we brought down our corpses. We took them up to where Solo was standing. I came back to the vehicle. My mind could not absorb what was happening. I vomited. I was standing behind the vehicle and I vomited. I returned back and I stood by the vehicle. Because where Solo was standing inside the grasses, I believe that there was an old well there. But I believe he did not want us to know that there was a well. Because I did not see any digging, signs of digging there. So we took our corpses and we placed them there. So as I was coming back to the vehicle, I had a shock. I went behind and I was vomiting. Yes.
What did you do with the dead bodies then? We left Solo in the bushes there where he was standing. There were some soldiers and, by, I by him. Him. and I believe that so, uh, dead bodies here, be able to come, uh, come, come. That all these dead bodies were put inside of that well. Yes. Did you assist in any way while the dead bodies were being taken to the car and into the well? Yes, I assisted to, to bring the corpses from the vehicle to take them where Solo was standing. It was after that that I returned back to my vehicle and I was vomiting. This place where Solo Bojang led you, can you recall the name of the place, or can you tell us if this place was even in the Gambia? Since I know myself, I have never gotten into such bush. Statement you said somewhere in Fonyi. Yes, we, we, we came out through the Fonyi way. We came through the bushes and through, through Fonyi Highway. You mentioned that Solo Bojang was assuring you people that this was an execution endorsed by the state. At what point was he briefing you on this? After execution. This was after the execution. These people were taken out of mile two in the middle of the night. Yes, you were given marks to wear when you were going to mile two prisons. What? Mas masks. The manner in which they were executed was quite horrific. That is true. Did you believe Solo when he said that? It surprised me because I, I, I heard that the Justice Minister was there. The Minister of Interior GJ. I also saw the Minister of the Interior. DG Prison GJ. I also saw the Director General of the Prisons. General Baji GJ. I saw General Baji there. So, Kapu Kominko is not legal. So, to say that the uh, executions were not legal, I'm only getting to know that now. After, after, after that, that 2013 for B. From that, 2013 for B. From 2013 up till date. Sending along illegal execution of Minkata illegal. Sending Kabinga Moyen the car illegal. Sending along coming is illegal. It is now that I have been hearing it here that was, I got to know that in fact that execution was not legal. I think for the following day, or the two days later, young Amoy Farakamaraba announced on GRTS. I think it was a day or two after, after the executions that I heard uh, the announcement be made over GRTS by Fatou Kamara. That was when I began to calm down and said, well, if it is being announced now, then perhaps it is legal, as it was said. In that announcement, it was reported that the inmates died by firing squad. And you knowing fully well that they were suffocated to death. Did you still believe that that execution was lawful? Well, according to what I heard, except if they change the statement, 
If they said that they were shot, then that is not uh, uh, true. What did you, in fact, hear from Fatou Kamara's uh, yeah, announcement? Fatou Kamara, I can't tell you. I don't know what I'm saying. 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 I don't know what I'm what I heard was that there were some inmates that were convicted and they had to be killed, and those were the ones that were taken to the range and uh, shot by a firing squad. After this mission, after this mission, were you remunerated in any way? Were you given a form of a compensation? What, what I can remember was this, that uh, there was a time Lieutenant Sane Mustafa uh, when Lieutenant Mustafa Sane he said that uh, the big man said that he had uh, spared dashed us uh, each of us $5,000 each he said that uh, the big man said that he had uh, spared dashed us each $5,000 so each one of us should sign and our names What was the 5,000 meant for? Why did you say that? Well, I do not know the reason for which that 5,000 was given for. You mentioned the big man. Who were you referring to as the big man? Former president. Former president. Yaya Jame. Yaya Jame. Would you say the 5,000 was a reward for the execution, the unlawful execution you participated in? That day, what Mustafa said there was this. Okay, uh, former president go have a most every month five thousand dollars is la. That the former president said that he will spare us five thousand dollars each okay. month. Get a senior killing. But it happened once. To senior fula. And happened for the second time also. Senior sabanja mo. But for the third time. Suleiman Baji, General Baji, I more commandi. Suleiman Baji, General Baji called us. Oh, yeah, Jamey kudo dialale. And said that yeah, Jamey gave him some money. Kudo kala moto kono. And that he had put the money inside his vehicle. But that the money disappeared inside the vehicle. He said that verbally and every one of us and all of us dispersed. Did you believe him when he said that? I do not believe it. I do not believe it. Apart from this unlawful execution or unlawful killing you participated in, did you participate in any other activities of the junglers? What Yes, there was a time. I went to my village. It was on Saturday. It was on a Saturday. Nyabali called me. He said to me there was a mission in Combo. Tanje. In Tanje. That I should return back because the next day we were going for a mission. Another on Sunday. I returned back on Sunday. Before I came back on the Sunday. Because these people, once they call you and they tell you that there is a mission, you are always terrified. comfortable. I was not comfortable. Following day, first thing in the morning. So the following day, first thing in the morning. Uh, you said. You, and I repeat in Mandinka. These people, when they call you, you get terrified. Why Kijafaro? Why do you get terrified? Because I'm also afraid of them. I'm also afraid of it. All that I'm in the group. Because sometimes, even if they call me to collect this money, I used to perform ablution before going. So that God can prevent me from any mishaps. You knew at this point that any mission 
that they may call you for may possibly unlikely be killing yes on this day they called you and you went as well not knowing what the mission is but having at the back of your mind that it is likely to kill somebody. So what happened? of all of that, mm -hmm. so when I left the following day, the, the, the following day in the morning, I went to Tanje with one song. With one song, we were on duties on that day. But at the but it's now late. Can you please give us the last name of this song? Song. It's late. Ah. His last name. I don't know. Mendi or Sang Korea, I don't know. Sang Mendi or Korea, I don't know. I'll leave it at that. Can you please go on? Mm -hmm. So we were there. Noah came in there in the evening. He said to me, prepare. Prepare your materials. You are going on a mission. But he did not say what mission it was. What materials was he asking you to prepare? He said to me, prepare former president. The former president is traveling. At that time, I think he was going to Guinea-Bissau because it was two days traveling. Because it was a two-day traveling. I packed my luggages. Reporter State House. I reported at the State House. I went to the commander. I had a briefing. Because they did not want anybody to know where the former president was going to. So commander brief. So the commander briefed us. He told us that you were going to Saudi. That was when I came to know that the mission was in Saudi. So I got prepared there. So other people came in. We were all there. We drove to Senegal. We drove to Senegal. That's why we find ourselves in Saudi. What was the purpose of your visit to Saudi or that, a mission to Saudi. That time Yaya was going for the Umrah. And the Umrah mission obviously it didn't involve any killing. Allah Umrah silo de mo fa I No there was no killing. <laughs> So the Umrah mission, in essence, was for cleansing. <laughs> no, I'm no. Going. no, it was not that. So it was not that. Well, Mr. Sambo, thank you very much for answering all of my questions. <laughs> this is the end of questioning from me. <laughs> I'll now shift it to the Chairman and the commissioners. Sorry, Mr. Chairman, it's like the witness wants to say something. Uh, Chairman, you know, later last minute I spoke to you about my issue. Yes, um, Mr. Chairman, the witness has had informed me that um, the father and the stepmother were part of the ones that were victims of a witch hunt. And he would like to have a platform to also talk about that. I don't know if this is the perfect time of, for this all. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, I have been informed about that too. And I think the neatest thing to do would be to call the, uh, this person, uh, this witness, as a witness later again uh, to deal with the witch hunting exercise. So in order to avoid uh, you know, mixing things up, we would call him again and, uh, and ensure that he testifies about that. So on that note, I'll encourage you to write a full statement and deliver it uh, to the investigators, uh, no. such that at the appropriate time, 
uh, we would call you as a witness and give you the opportunity to state everything that the, you have to state. He already wrote a statement. The father already wrote a statement, whatever has happened. Yes, but, but equally, you can also write a statement about it if you are affected by, by what has happened or if you have information about what has happened. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Council. The Gambia is going through hell. The Gambia is going through hell that these revelations and the admissions that we've had these past few days is beyond shocking for any society. To have um, uh, agents of the state coming out here, find you telling the truth, that's exactly what we want. Truth about gruesome murders by the state Today alone, we had 14 murders. This is all on top of what you and your colleagues have been telling us, the junglers, since some of these started them are coming here. To have you here, or to have us here from you and from other junglers, that uh, senior officers of the state, ministers, other senior um, people being present at the execution of um, prisoners. It's almost like um, uh, having the Nazi high command getting to the gas chambers in occupied areas or the death camps looking at um, uh, uh, prisoners um, who have been killed being gassed, uh, burned them to death. I mean, burned them, their bodies being uh, cremated. Amunta Durong Naziolu, Walem Hitler Nala Kafunyolu, Yemenke Nundurong Kamulu Muta, Ke Sambaka Edundi Bumulu Kolomeni Alonko, Furo Lemuti, Hadamadimo Luke, Jani Furo Konoke Kamburu, Jani Yaming, Amunta Kufasong Lumenu Ketanu Tumo, and Ninkoni Wole Lafta Muliala. They had their junglers. They, they called them the uh, Einstein's and Magropen. The in Darfur, you had the same kind of junglers in the Janjaweed going around slaughtering people. Darfur fanang ya nyongo le soto je kafu le utumo nun Janjaweed wole kata amurumuru be molu fa fa la nyonya ndi nyama. And to hear that in the Gambia, junglers are going around, murdering people, getting people out of um, prison at night and slaughtering them. Well, and we have not heard the end of it yet. I guess some are, we're going to have more junglers some are coming, more murders some are being um, uh, told um, to the Gambian people. And Gambia is going through hell. Uh, I have no idea what question I can ask you or your other um, colleagues. Commissioners, if you have any questions, yeah. please um, uh, go ahead. From the left um, this time around, I'll start. None. And from the right, uh, yes, please. Um, uh, Commissioner Kinte, you have the floor. Commissioner Kinte, la kana yinin karola. Lamin Sambu. Kinte ko Lamin Sambu. Frankly, uh, I was a bit puzzled. Akoto nyanja kaltan. 
Of course, there are contradictions uh, from um, other witnesses. Each two persons among you in the back seat sandwiched one, 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 one victim. Um, nonetheless, even if they were too fine, the puzzle is uh, someone who is handcuffed from behind, and the, the feet uh, would have to be helped into a sitting position in a pickup. And uh, indeed, if you were two in number, um, sandwiching two victims, um, even if they had a uh, um, a mask or something, some nylon over their head. The, the contact is not the same between you and your next partner, the it, first victim around it, you. It, it, it and then had been strangled. Yo, kango dete fo ayefa. Yo, kango dete fo ayefa. Yo, kango dete fo ayefa. From other testimonies, someone had to come down to help Oya and the other guy to make sure they succeed in cooling this guy down to death. And three people for that individual. Now, you are, t you are impressing us about the... the, the uh, yes, uh, I have to step in here uh, to assist Commissioner Kinte. Yeah. Uh, the same question you are formulating yes. has been asked by counsel. Okay. And if I remember the answer that the witness gave was that, yes, indeed, we assisted in the execution of these people. If that is established, so I would rather we don't unravel. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm fine if that is established. Thank if that you. is on record, Thank you. that he has Thank admitted you. he participated Thank in you. supporting, Thank helping you. the guy. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Um, Commissioner Carr, you have the floor, please. Commissioner Carr, can I in Carr? Thank you, Chairman. My first question is, you said you were taken to Umrah. Were you the only jungler in that in that trip? Umrah. Did you come from the coming jungle? Umrah. Did you come from the coming jungle? 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 Did you come from the coming I personally have never known what a jungler is. Umrani, alelan sambaje, nde mampan sambaje, and nobody selected me. It's only God. This Umrah, God took me there. I did not take myself there. Nobody selected me except God. Ngami kala muda je nde malam, because misono njema imamu rokomi ngo Saudi lani, ada Saudi lando, dona njira no. What I experienced there is only I can. It's only me that knows it. In fact, this mission, if they had known that it's Saudi, I wouldn't have gone. It was they are taught that they are taught that this mission was going to be in Bissau and for only two days. I mean that the commander of office would more briefing that coming go the president is going to Saudi for Umrah. It was when we got to the commander's office and had our briefings that we got to know that in fact the president was going to Saudi. From the office direct to, uh, to to Senegal. No, thank you, thank you. Uh, Bishop, you have the floor, please. Bishop um, Odiko, what can I do? Thank you, Chairman. Kwenumbara, Chairman. The person who examined the dead bodies. Meye um, Nyumfreolu Jube. Was he a medical person? Amari Mujata Kendea Bunda Dokula Letibang. Any more long? No, I do not know that. Uh, you narrated that you both you and Buso carried your dead bodies to the burial place. I tell you, Fro Lusamba, Dinkirato, it at a bad day. 
How did you carry the, the dead body? Ali nyum frewu samba nyadile. Do a bulo muta ndenga singo muta. He held the hands and I held the feet. Ma samba fo solo bolo solo bolo renda meto ngalandi ye. We, we took them until we are solo was standing. So we, we placed them there. And then we pick up coma. And I returned back to the vehicle. Ben to phone all. That was when I had this shock, and I went behind the vehicle and started to vomit. Did you take them both together, or did you take them one after the other? Aliye mo fure fulo bele sambanyo la bang faliye kling kling sambale. One after the other. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Bojang. You have the floor. Commissioner Bojang, welcome to Nininka. Mr. Sabu. Yes, ma'am. It's an additional question to Mr. Odiko. Mm -hmm. you, said, you said Buso helped you to carry your cough. Eko Buso le mako e kao fre osamba. Who helped Buso to carry his cough? Because according to you, you said Buso you up to where Solo is. Buso 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 now, who helped Buso to carry his cough? You might have Buso there, Maka Coming forward, we have my understand. Go for me, Mentolo Moto, Contolanga, Samanga, and Solo Bedamendo. What I have seen, and maybe she does not understand, I said, the corpses that we are in our vehicle, we took them and placed them where Solo was standing. Muskeva came in in Kaulam, Alia, killing, killing somebody, Fale, Fure, Fulo, Bela, and Yoka, and the Kesamba. We took them one at a time. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Sambu, you have any concluding uh, words to make or remarks? Please go ahead. I want to thank God. For me, I see being your Lunkanaka testify. Who has enabled me to be present this day to testify? These heinous things that have happened in this country, the things that I am aware of. Because all these things were done based on the orders that we were given. And the order from the And it's it's also based on order. That is why I'm here testifying. So order So it's the same order which I cannot. Uh, uh, Deny. So I want to thank all the, whole, the entire commission. All these things happened here. All these things have been said here. It's not our wish. It is not our wish. It's not our intention. Because since I know myself up to now, being in the service up to this day, Nobody can say that this is what Sambu has done to me. I have never had any problems with anybody. Even today, as I am testifying here, so many people are perplexed about my case. Because I am not a wicked person. I am not also a bad person. I have not troubled anybody. I have never reported anyone to the authorities to say that this is what so-and-so has done. I have never tortured anyone except these incidents that I have found myself in. I just saw myself in these incidents and also I saw people in there and I thought that the things that were happening were in line with the law. It is unlawful. I never knew that these things were not lawful until this TRRC started proceedings. I want to thank uh, the families of the victims for the patience that they have shown so far because these heinous things have happened to their relatives and they never knew that this was how it happened. So I am praying and indulging their forgiveness. It is not our wish regret in my life. This is something that I will ever regret in my life. Since that execution was started, since the start of those executions, you can ask Buso Obaji. 
You may ask Busso or Baji. Since that day, I'm on Monday and Thursday, I'm on Saturday. I'll say I'm from Mandasi. I'm from Furel Muna. Up to date, I'm on Monday and Thursday. Pru I'm from Ying. Since the I regret in my life. Since the executions, I started fasting Monday and Thursday. Up to date. From Furel Muna, I'm on Monday and I'm on Monday and Thursday. Until even my colleagues would ask me, why do you keep fasting from on Mondays and Thursdays? I'm from Dunia Bebolona. In fact, today is when the entire world is knowing the reason. Go Allah Dani Wola Minkita. I am praying to God so that that which has happened, that let I will not be able to uh, be put into these things again. solution, any solution here no can stop, because I do not see any solution to stop it. Which is why I am praying to the Almighty, uh, fasting Mondays and Thursdays. Since that day, for be since that day up to today, one year, four months. Even at the time when I was under detention for one year, four months, one, one, almost two to three years, this Monday and Thursday. I have been fasting for almost three years, Monday and Thursday. And even in my workplace, my so colleagues have testified that, to that. Regret, le? These things that have happened, I regret them. Because after the death row, because after the death row, I personally went up to Buso. I went up to his house. I said to him, Buso, I am going to resign. He said to me, why? I said to him, if we do not leave this place, these people are going to put us into Buso more trouble. Your life is at risk. Buso said to me, if you should resign now, your life will be at risk. I continued because I had no solution. Not again this Monday and Thursday, soon start. Then I started fasting on the moon on Mondays since, and Thursdays. Since 2013 for 14. Since 2013 to 2014. For B. Up to date. I am Sumo. fasting Mondays and Thursdays. Allah Yalong. God knows. Gambia no more yalong, coffee more yalong. Gambia, in the Gambia, many people know, many of my colleagues know that. Because something happened which I got myself involved in, which I never believed that I could be a part of. But a human being cannot deny the destiny that God has set for him or her. Because I never thought that I would ever get into this kind of group. So this is my statement. Let people forgive. Uh, let people not think that this is just our will. In fact, these things, we are the people who condemn it the most. But we, have, we couldn't do anything about it. It happened to me, my father and my mother. They took them to Kanilai. They forced them to drink a concoction. My father was in coma for 48 hours. He could not speak. The same thing happened to my mother. The same thing happened to my mother. Why this? I spoke to Solo and I said to Solo, why this? I cried over the telephone. Solo said it was an order that was given to him. And there was nothing I could do about it. My father is still experiencing that problem. That is his private private problem, but up till date, he's still going to the hospital. And two months back, I was going to go to the hospital, and I was going to go to the hospital, and I was going to go to the Even two months back, I went to the Biam hospital to try to get some medicines for him, but because I could na, not na get them. But I, I called my brother to get some, mod, some, some medicines for him. Because when he experiences these uh, attacks, he used to lose his breath, and so he used to be helped to with, with a so, pipe. 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 so even up to today, he's still breathing through that pipe. So system system So this system that we found ourselves in, we are junior officers. We would not be able to tell what is it. They useless for nothing. They useless for nothing. Was being able to be at least a phone yanya ni arza interest le biye biye nta fensi lo bar bi for bi moto a phone ndomo sabo moto a phone a bar on koral phone kun oya bungo loje nothing. Because today, if what we were doing was based on interest, then at least today, one each one of us should have had a house or something. But none of us, the three of us, can, can boast of having anything from it. So I thank God and I glorify God. I thank you people too. That you are trying to remove Gambia from this bad chapter and to... to that's the end of my statement and I thank you all.
Well, tomorrow is some uh, Thursday. And uh, you add on to your prayers and the fasting. That never again should these things happen. It's not just prayers, it's some um, devotion also. All of us um, um, ensure that um, uh, these things don't happen again. Thank you for your testimony. And, uh, we will meet again tomorrow at uh, 10 o'clock. Meeting is adjourned.